Good morning. Hi, sis. Under construction. <laughs> no lab coat today. Sorry, guys. I am official. No lab coat. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I just came from the gym. Um, in the shop. It's got here. So. Yes. Okay. How was your workout? It was great. It was great. Um, how are you? Good. How's it going? Good. Good. Happy Friday. Good. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining. Um, so. Hey, JB. Every route to the paper. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I think we we should definitely always open it up to making it a, a dialogue between our viewers that are watching, um, asking questions, things that are important to you in regards to your hair. Um, if you're having hair loss issues or you think you might be having hair loss issues, ask us a question so that we can kind of help guide you in the right direction to be able to um, get the right resources. And if you're not in our area, which is South Florida, we have colleagues that we can refer you to. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, so introduce yourself, Jen. So my name is Jennifer Dupo, for those that don't know me. I am a licensed cosmetologist for over 27 years. I am a certified trichologist and part owner of H2 Grow Inc. with Patricia Harrell. And my specialty is hair growth and hair restoration. So I, I allow um, myself to be able to help you have a better hair growth, hair journey, and um, that's what my focus is, so. Okay, for those who don't know me, my name is Patricia Harrell, or some may pronounce it Harrell. <laughs> I don't know what you want to pronounce it. <laughs> I am a licensed cosmetologist over hmm, 25 over 30 plus years, 25 plus years, I'm going to say that. Um, I am a certified trained trichologist. Um, I am a partner <laughs> co-owned with Jennifer Dupo of H2 Grow Products. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and my specialty as far as cosmetology I am a, I cut hair beautifully. I am one of the best in Miami who can style their hair, but I am, I, I, I do love healthy hair. Yes. So there you go. <laughs> I'll get my intro down pack soon. <laughs> for those that are new that's coming on and don't really know who we are. Yes. Um, created this <laughs> to create awareness, um, to ask us questions, um, to promote our products because we do have a product to promote. And the product provides great results. I'm a client and then most of my clients that are having hair loss issues are a client. So yes, uh, yes. there are many solutions that we have to offer. Uh, we also have products that stylists can partner with us to use in their salon as a as a um add-on service. So yes. reach out to us. The products work. So um, we use it. And obviously we have to be our own advocate. And again, I use it because I have little spurts and yeah. issues. As long yeah. as follicles are alive and not starved, we can recycle and regenerate growth. Yes. Just keep that in mind. Okay. And for those who, our products just don't help for hair loss. It maintains healthy hair as well. Um, as we get older, we go through menopause. Um, a lot of our clients or myself experience a little bit of hair loss during those that time. So our products help with healthy hair as well. And also keep your scalp clean and healthy. Absolutely. So, so it's, it's just not for hair loss. Yeah, it's yeah. to maintain 
healthy hair as well. Our focus is to help regrow hair. So although yes. we say hair loss, um, the products is to maintain and help to regrow hair that may need to need help to regrow. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So do you have a story that I, I, I thought we could take this time, story time with a client maybe? Um, with, with hair loss, As, something you went through this week? So I wouldn't say I had anything that I went through this week, but I could definitely piggyback off of some things that I've come across. So let's talk about trusting the process. Oh. Um, you're, uh, you're uh, apprehensive. So I'm coming across a lot of clients that are yes. process and are apprehensive. Um, however, most clients that are coming into me have been referred, which means they know the person that referred has either experienced the transformation or seen transformation. So those are some key things when you're going to someone. Obviously, you want to go to someone that has already seen what the, that person can do. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have clients that are, are very leery and taking off the amount of hair that's necessary. Um, if we're going into protective styles, I had a, a scenario where you have clients that are, um, I do braid, a lot of braid prepping because I don't braid anymore, but I'm specializing in natural hair. So we always say prep the hair, get the proper um, protein treatment, conditioning treatment, trim the ends. Um, we uh, always moisturize and treat at the steam. It's shampooing is where you start the building of moisture. Yes. You cannot at the chair before going to the shampoo bowl and doing those things. So for me, my experience was not trusting the process. You know, I'm not going to take off more than you want me to, but I said, give me a little bit along the way so as mm -hmm. we grow out the hair that, that isn't healthy, we can have a faster transition. The longer you hold on to ends that are not, that are damaged, it's going to slow down that process yes. of having proper regrowth. It's not the trims that make the hair grow, but you want to see more success in your length, right? Because once the hair is out of the follicle and it's grown out, that's dead hair. So when we talk about split ends, that's because we're manipulating, we're brushing, we're combing, we're doing things to our hair. We're stopping yeah. our hair. We're going to have little hiccups here and there. We're going to have a little damage or, I, oh, I brushed my hair too hard. And then there's If you don't trim those things, then it takes away the length and it damages the integrity. So I just wanted to be clear. Trimming is not... What makes the hair grow? That's a myth. Trimming keeps the integrity. So in my case, um, I feel like if you don't, if you have a question or you don't understand why I'm doing it, ask me. And that has been my problem where I will get that person to tell somebody else they stylist chop all the hair off. <laughs> and I barely took all. <laughs> I barely took all what was necessary. So um, I say, let's have the dialogue and conversation with our stylists and ask why. Um, if you're not ready to give all up, how much do you want to give up? And be okay with that. Especially if you're going into a protective style, you're not going to see the length. Because you're going to gain length through the process of going through your protective styles, wearing it not long to damage it, but to give you some, you know, push through losing that length. So for me, that was my experience is not trusting the process not having a dialogue and conversation. Um, I'm all about consultation. I always say why I'm doing it, what needs to be done, and then I say, what are you ready to um, give? Like, tell me what you're ready for, right, Pat? Because we're not chopping hair off for free. Because we charge the cut. <laughs> we charge the trim. But we want to make sure when we're doing it for you that it is um, to your comfort, but you're giving us enough to make it look like something. Because if we don't have enough to make it look like something, then your hair is not going to look like we did anything to it. So how do you feel about that conversation I'm having? That's a big conversation for me, the trimming and the cut. Ooh, she cut my hair off. Really? Well, <laughs> uh, well, that, that, was, <laughs> that wasn't my story this week. Um, um, I'm dealing with with a client who don't know the process. Um, I met her when I went and got a mammogram. So you know I'm always talking to everyone. So she works um, at 
the center and she she asked me what did I do for a living because we holding a conversation and she was like oh my I need you so she might have seen my pictures my before and after pictures um but what is going on is the um trust in the process like you said trust in the process so she's she's standing from menopause and um maybe stress so um she 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 called me the other night it was like nine something pat i'm gonna send you a video of my hair i i i just don't know what's going on so she sends me this video she's she's moving it back and forth moving it back and forth and i was like well i can't tell from the video she was like i think it's getting worse oh my gosh she's freaking out jen it's only been a month and a half probably she started the uh system oh um, so it, it takes at least 90 to six, six months listen three. i told her that she knows that but she was just she was just freaking out. I said, okay, so come Thursday, let me scope you. Let me see what's going on. So I part her hair four ways. I scope. She got all kind of little new hairs, bellish hairs growing in there. And I could see it growing, but she's looking like, what is going on? You know, but once I show her, you know, that she has a lot of new hairs growing. She got Bella's hairs growing everywhere. And when I look down at her scalp, you could see it. So, so once I show her, and she was like, oh my gosh, what was I worried about? I say, you have to trust the process. You have to trust the process. I, I, I was telling her, it's gonna take about three to three months to a year for you to see major the, the major changes. process you know and the major changes like you'll start seeing it in three months six months one year to a year and and i i had to calm her down because she was freaking out but once i scoped her and showed her she was like oh well can i get laser today do i have time for laser and i was like sure i have time for laser you know so it made her feel so much better and and, and i said all that to say sometimes you have to constantly show them the process you know well see 40 said i thought that ends make the hair grow and make it stronger you see that no Training is not what makes the hair grow because when you think about hair, hair grows from the dermis, yeah. meaning from the blood, from the nutrients that we consume in our bodies. To the, mm -hmm. And then it needs ATP, which means I need energy, I need circulation, I need movement to create um, growth. Growth does not start from the hair that's already out. So when we're trimming, as I said, yeah. trimming is maintaining the integrity that's already out so again my example is brushing blow drying flat ironing um styling creates nicks and breakage um, that you don't really see until over time you're like oh what look at your hair if it's see-through that means that hair is no longer um healthy because it's splitting so when it's splitting it's like a banana it's peeling so if i don't remove that those areas areas that are peeling it's just going to peel into the healthy hair and then create more damage so it is considered a myth Tr trimming your hair it's amazing. makes it grow it keeps the integrity looking healthier mm -hmm. and in order to style so that it can look nice you want it to it's ask hair trimming is maintenance there you go but thank you for asking that Sure. Yeah, thank you for uh, um, joining. Yes. <laughs> Good conversation. Um, I also, I've been also doing more um, free scoping and then pictures of the actual concern. And then when they come back on their next visit, whether it's two weeks 
or a month from that point when I scope and I take another picture, which pictures speak volume, you could really show the person as you were talking about. Yes. You started out maybe with one strand of hair and now we see five and six strands. Yes. When you look at it with a tricoscope, it's a, a magnifying scope. And it allows us to, why do we, what happened? I'm not sure she didn't, it, your sentence didn't complete it says, why do we? But um, if you want to um, elaborate on your, on your question, we can answer for you. Yeah, Our, we can't see the full question. Um, com, um, question that you're asking. So <laughs> yeah, so when we're looking at hair, we're looking at it magnified. We're looking at it side by side with pictures because we pictures speak a thousand words. If I'm looking at my part, and my part right now is a normal part, and I'm looking at it and I have a two finger part, something is wrong. <laughs> you know, with women, we look at it from part. With men, you're receiving from temple to the top of the occipital bone. So women, you'll see, could have recession from temple to occipital, and then they're losing hair from, okay, is the scoping pictures with laser service? Um, so scoping is actually a service within itself. So you can come in for a scope. Yeah. So you'll get a, um, it's not going to be like full detail, like a full consultation, but we could actually see if you have issues with your scalp, where there's like buildup of uh, dry scalp, um, overproduction of oils. Um, we always yeah. see um, per square inch of how much hair is within the area of the concern that you have. So, and um, and laser laser service is a different service. Correct. So the reason why I gave her laser after she came in for a consultation is because she already started the program. Right. But yes. we also have it as a separate um, part service. Um, yes. Like it, it it mimics photo biosynthesis. So, like plants need water, need light, and need food. Yes. And all of those things provides to create the energy that it needs for that plant to grow. So the laser is a low light level laser, cool laser that goes past your skin because you have LED, LED top yes. of your skin. Mm -hmm. uh, diodes go through the skin without you feeling anything, but it wakes up and creates stimulation. It creates regeneration. Yes. It, it yes. gives the hair the ability to, to push out of a telogen phase. Telogen is resting, catagen is shedding, antigen is growing. So the laser for us helps us to stimulate and keep energy telling the hair. You want me? Do you have your little hair? Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm under construction. I can show it on my arm. Um... She'll show you that. Yeah. And, and, and behind you, is, um, that's Pat's laser cap that we're looking at. So it stimulates. Can oh. you see? No, you gotta uh, let me take it. There you go. Can you see it now? It's like far, so you can't really. Okay, there you go. We can, you're now seeing it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So when you you, it wakes up all of this. This is your hair follicle. Right. So the laser, like Jim was saying, goes through the dermis. Repeat it, Jim. Okay, so you're looking at the the, the, the hair. Um, if you go up, down a little bit, you're looking at the hair where the follicle, that's the bud of the hair. So it's in the dermis. Mm -hmm. The dermis connected with nerve endings. You have all of these cellular connections to your hair follicle. Yes. The laser is going to tell the blood flow in your body to wake up, mm -hmm. create energy, cellular regeneration, and then you're going to get more active growth, meaning we want to stay in an antigen phase. Antigen is growing. A lot of times we're sleeping, which is intelligent, resting, and, and losing hair and not growing. So the laser is things that I recommend for clients that are in protective styles, that are not getting a lot of blood flow and stimulation to, to the scalp. Mm -hmm. The laser is one mm -hmm. of the that you can add. You could come in once a week or every other day because it's like working a muscle. 
and have a laser so service. This, this is my laser. Pick up the follicle. And then for me, this, I, I'm under construction, y'all, but this is my laser. It's a, it's a spa laser. Yeah. There are different lasers on the market. Yes, there um, are. The and light, the meaning, the lights, the red lights that come out of there, see? The stronger it is, the better it's going to stimulate blood flow in your cell. And we yes, and we also offer salon laser services. So thank you for asking that question. Yes, I hope that helped a little. <laughs> and then scoping, um, scoping pictures with laser services. Yeah, again, those will be two add-on services. So I'm scoping and taking pictures, and then I would be providing a laser service. So those are two add-on services. You're welcome. <laughs> So, um, Jen and I are going to get, um, we're going to become pe professionals when it comes to lives, um, and we'll be able to <laughs> show the pictures while we're on live. We haven't gotten that skillful yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> Process, right? And Thank you, Tanisha. Thank you. Nothing is perfect. <laughs> However... Um, if there's things around and we're talking about it, we're going to stop. We'll show you so we can get more yes. visual. Yes. You got auto, auto people that listen and learn better. And you got visual learners. And then you need yes. that are, I got to hear it. I, then I got to, and I got to see it at the same time. Yes. So absolutely. <laughs> those are to add on. But always nice to stop because again, we're not perfect. Live is being, I'm going live. I'm yes. Gonna, I might trip. <laughs> in two seconds and fall on the floor and I, I, you know I'm in live action but anywho uh, it's okay Pat, we, we, we're we doing what we love to do which is yes. educate so, so I'm just glad that she and I found the confidence enough to just go live and sometimes you remember the first time we went live huh? you remember the first girl, time we went live I mean you could see me shaking girl I was scared <laughs> like <laughs> but you know we're thinking people looking outside that we're making big mistakes or we look crazy when in actuality i think it's just confidence and being able to just talk about what it is you do right um, yeah i'm not trying to sell you anything that i don't believe in when i believe yeah. in something and i talk about something and I'm recommending it, it just means that's just something that I truly believe in. So for us to get on the live to talk about it, it takes a lot of courage. Um, you know, it does. It's nothing, right? But for us, I'm, I think growth and time allowed us to just be able to do what we do. Yeah. And I love interaction. Uh, I like when clients ask questions or just yes. like a consumer. Because, you know, when you don't ask a question, you don't, you don't know. Yeah. And so uh, closed mouths don't get fed. So if you don't, so why do we lose hair when we brush and comb our hair? So always remember, um, we have to lose hair to grow new hair. Yes. It's process. So catagen and it's intelligent is happening all over our bodies. Yeah. Our eyebrows, brushes, our, our underarms, our hair have different cycles of growth. And so yes. it's stuck in one one of those growth because you need all three of those growth cycles mm -hmm. and so when you're brushing and combing your hair you should be losing about 100 to 150 strands average okay looking at it probably like a quarter and nickel size a dime size even a penny size yeah. now when we talk about and combing a handful every time i'm combing it <laughs> now them eyebrows ain't coming back <laughs> Well, yes, they are. Eyebrows can grow back if you didn't scar it, because you know that comes from. I used to do more aesthetic work. I used to be just an esthetician. So if you're waxing it too much or you're shaving it too much, you're it's called uh, over stimulating. But there are actually growth products to help stimulate. Eyes. Yes, yeah, because it's part of our body. Our skin is the largest organ on our body, and there's hairs on our on our skin and our in our scalp. So, yeah, so we lose hair because you're, you have to lose hair in order to gain new hair. <laughs> and um, that's just how. Huh? 
What happened? I've been using our eyelash serum. I don't know what I did with it. But um, Jen and I have an eyelash serum um, that we use every day for those who lost their lashes due to overdoing their lashes. Um, there you go. We have that on our website you could purchase as well so i use it um once a day i drop it because i stop wearing my lashes you know <laughs> I, I miss my lashes but our, our product is bringing them back fuller and thicker yes. um you know what else i can help with that um i also you can see i took oh, them off <laughs> Dermal rolling, <laughs> just dermal yes. rolling in those areas can help regenerate and cycle <laughs> hair growth. So th these are some things yes. you could do at home. It helps to resurface the skin and in areas that you have hair growth, if you dermal roll, it'll stimulate and create uh, abilities for you to have hair growth. If the, again, if it's not scarred. So Jen and I sell dermal rollers on our website website as well www.h2growinc.com and you can purchase a derma roller for those who have troubles in those little areas yes but i'm not a um esthetician mm -hmm. but i am a cosmetologist and we did take a few of those class i took a few classes I took an actual full course for us yeah. i just decided to focus more into hair but i do understand yes. um i do understand doing certain things that will help manipulate and create a, a better foundation for your scalp your eyebrows your skin and um your face yeah so yeah and i loved it when i did it so okay well we would love to talk to you guys all day but we are working women. We have clients coming through the door. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We have a YouTube channel, H2 Grow Inc. Uh, hair care and products. Please subscribe and like our videos. Um, and if you need products, we have a website, www.h2growinc.com. And if you have any questions for us, you can leave them on the website or you can DM us on our um, Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. To see you all. I mean, we have so much to talk about, but we only have so much time. So. Continue to watch Jen and I live. And if you have missed our live, you can catch us on the replay or YouTube. Take care, y'all. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Tarnisha. You have a wonderful weekend. You do. Have a we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your time. And make it a great afternoon and a wonderful weekend. Be blessed, y'all. And stay consistent. And no, be consistent. be consistent and stay. No, be patient. Lord have mercy. And stay consistent <laughs> and be patient. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>